Snails. It's not pho or even banh mi that groups of Saigonese people go out to eat. It's snails. Have you ever read Henry Miller? No, 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 not Arthur Miller. Henry Miller. Tropic of Cancer. The whole idea, or anti-idea, certainly not original to him, was dropping the trappings of civilization that he calls the idea, and becoming earthy, eating, sleeping, and fucking. What Camille Paglia would call the Dionysian as opposed to the Apollonian. In the narrator's own words, For some reason or other, man looks for the miracle, and to accomplish it, he will wade through blood. He will debauch himself with ideas. He will reduce himself to a shadow if for only one second of his life he can close his eyes to the hideousness of reality. Everything is endured. Disgrace, humiliation, poverty, war, crime, ennui, in the belief that overnight something will occur, a miracle, which will render life tolerable. And all the while, a meter is running inside, and there is no hand that can reach in there and shut it off. The Tropic of Cancer is always described as earthy. And what are snails, if not earthy? They live in the mud, in the shallows, obeying, perhaps unconsciously, Henry Miller's maxim to stop building castles in the sky and just get on with living, because this is it, and our time is finite. So there you go. Snails. What could be better connected, more grounded, earthier, than eating a mollusk that had just come up from the muddy ground? Snails aren't really a meal in Saigon. You don't step out of the office for a quick snail lunch. Snails are maybe the closest thing Saigon has to titty bars. It's a place for men. Women eating snails, not in the company of men, are assumed to be up to no good. For men to go out and drink in groups, relishing and cultivating all that is Vietnam's own brand of toxic masculinity. Not that it's in any danger of extinction outside those hollowed halls. Yes, there's a picture menu. At least here at this restaurant, Op Dao, there is. Because even Vietnamese people don't know exactly which is which. Though, if you get to a place that doesn't have a picture menu, but has an English menu, you're in for a treat, because they'll usually hand you a list of the Latin scientific names of the various snail species, what they got from Google Translate, and ask you to choose from that. What are you, a fucking marine biologist? In addition to choosing the type of snails, you can choose the preparation method. Some key words are going to flash on your screen now. And yeah, every dish is about 100,000 dong, so about 4 to 5 US dollars. There are generally no by-the-weight surprises or scams here. What are these? Forest snails. And what do they taste like? Forest. Like the what? <laughs> what do they taste like? Forest. <laughs> And the way to eat these is just to suck it. Ni hao. Wodza yenan chi won you. Like, share, and subscribe. What are these called? And what do they taste like? In the Tropic of Cancer, Henry Miller famously, arguably, homoerotically, wrote, We might never have known each other so intimately, Boris and I, had it not been for the lice. In Vietnam, maybe it's not the lice, but the snails.